everyone. My name is Sajni Vedre, and I'm a ninth grader attending Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Virginia. I'm also the founder and CEO of an international nonprofit organization called STEM All Stars. So when I was about seven, I was searching through Lego kits in Toys R Us when an employee said, the pretty Barbie dolls are over there. Back then, I was not mature enough to understand what this meant, but gradually, I noticed that kids at early ages are developing a sense of gender identity. In today's society, we're well acquainted about the concern of the lack of women in our STEM workforce. Throughout my 13 years, I have realized the power of the scientific world. Since my childhood, I've been noticing gender stereotypes such as girls are bad at math and engineering. Well, what's the problem? Stereotypes. Stereotypes fuel implicit, unintentional bias against women. This bias is more damaging than the stereotypes themselves because they affect our attitudes and expectations about women in STEM. A woman still earns 77 cents for each dollar a man earns, and a male is six times more likely to take engineering than a female. Statistics provide or prove that women occupy less than 25% of all of the STEM jobs available today. So why STEM for girls? There should be STEM for girls because there could be an increase in innovation, creativity, and insight, because women do think differently than men. So what do STEM girls do? STEM girls act as leaders to spread awareness about STEM, and they think above and beyond. STEM girls are also passionate into knowing more about STEM. There are many solutions we can work towards to get more STEM girls into our communities. Parents, teachers, men, and our society as a whole can tell girls that STEM is not a boys club at all. It's also a girls club. One solution is to learn what girls value and appeal to those values academically. Nowadays, our curriculum focuses on theoretical knowledge and it is important for us to show them their curriculum in terms of visuals and hands-on experiments to spark their interest. A second solution is to make girls interact with older girls involved in STEM. If all girls see is men in all of the STEM fields, this could be a discouraged to girls. And making them interact with female role models and engineers could have a huge impact. Another way is to incorporate their favorite extracurriculars and turn STEM into STEAM. For example, um, Leonardo da Vinci painted the beautiful Mona Lisa painting, and setting up activities that integrate all disciplines can cause wonders. So to approach all of these solutions, I created my own organization called STEM All-Stars. STEM All-Stars is an international nonprofit organization dedicated to eliminating gender differences by running, running STEM competitions, clubs, and events. So my target audience is girls who do not have enough self-confidence or knowledge about STEM. STEM All-Stars gives access to higher level thinking and open to all girls around the country in grades three to eight, STEM All-Stars has an annual competition. So students are challenged to either make an invention or build a community that solves a global issue. They're then required to research, model, and write an essay about their work. Their work is then graded by a panel of judges and prizes are given out. We also run STEM clubs around the world. The motive of these clubs is to provide students with quality time to explore subjects in STEM. By subjects, we do not mean topics that we learn in our everyday physics and chemistry books. We mean topics that intrigue students' curiosity. We also have uh, annual events each year, which are driven towards spreading STEM awareness and introducing STEM subjects, such as the basics of coding and prototyping. This year, we held a STEM All-Stars rally to advocate for STEM awareness. Till now, we have launched 23 STEM All-Stars clubs, and STEM All-Stars also helps the underprivileged who are uh, more passionate about STEM because they do not have the correct resources to pursue these fields. We also adopted three children and we're sponsoring for their STEM education. Recently, we've also been fortunate to receive $22,000 from an Indian representative, Sivram Raju, and we offered LCD projectors, computers, and tablets to underprivileged schools in India. So girls need freedom and various opportunities to pursue STEM. In order to achieve this, we need to work as a team. Seriously, a team. So, and my dream is not impossible to accomplish, and we can definitely create a difference. So thank you for my STEM All-Stars team, and here is my contact info. Uh, please feel free to contact me regarding any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you. Thank you.